Our Green Day set to play Dookie in full. Hi guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sounds. Now, with Green Day's new album, Father of All, just around the corner, the band have hit the promo trail and will be performing as part of the celebrations around MTV's European Music Awards. As well as being nominated for the Best Rock Award at the ceremony on November 3rd, the band will be performing in Seville as part of MTV's World Stage Series. But, as if that wasn't enough, the band have also just announced another intimate warm-up show, which will be taking place in Madrid at the 2,500 capacity La Riviera venue on October 30th. And here's where things get a little bit more interesting, because just last night, frontman Billy Joe Armstrong posted on his Instagram story an image of Green Day's iconic Dookie album artwork with the Spanish flag in the center of the explosion. A lot of fans, of course, therefore thought that this may see them performing the album in full during that tiny set. Billy definitely gave another strong hint that this was the case by commenting underneath another Instagram post asking if they would be playing Dookie live in its entirety with a little winky face. 2019 has of course been the 25th anniversary year since the release of Green Day's seminal breakout album, and a few months back the band were teasing fans that this could be a possibility with images of them in their rehearsal studio with a full set list made up of the track listing from that album. The band have previously played the album front to back in order to celebrate the album's 20th anniversary when they performed at London's Brixton Academy before headlining both Reading and Leeds festivals. Could they be about to repeat the trick as well as playing some new cuts from Father of All? We'll have to wait till next week to find out. Until then, get all your latest news on Green Day and all your other favorite artists right now over on rocksound.tv. Plus, make sure you head over to shop.rocksound.tv to pick up this commemorative cover of our 250th issue of Rock Sound. I've been James Wilson-Taylor, and this has been a Rock Sound News Update.